Yes, sir. Let's get it. It's your boy, Chess is Unlocked. Let's get it. Got another interview reaction by the one and only Tupac Shakur. Hey, let's get right into it. What's this interview called? Tupac on the prospect of going to jail, 1993. Damn, I was born in this year. That's crazy. But without further ado, let's get right into it. And like I said before, I'm going to always say, go hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel at Chess is Unlocked. Let's get it, Pac. And they didn't even use them goddamn pictures. They used the pictures some photographer took a year ago with me with a straight jacket on. You know, am I crazy? Anyway? I was having concerts. They were sold out. White boys, Mexicans, blacks. And they would do whatever I said. I could tell all those people in the audience to turn around in a circle. And they would do it. I was having love. I mean, like, undeniable love. And I was scared. I was scared that I would come to a town and I have the, the, the leader of the gang there telling me, what do you need? I was scared, but so was America. So was somebody else because all of a sudden I had all kind of legal problems. And you have to think about this. I had a clean record for 20 years, a clean record, living in the ghetto, in the gutter, no record. What about my morals then? What about my character then? You know what I'm saying? In two years that I start raising noise, that I start being publicly viewed, I've had a record. And now it looks like I'm a criminal who has no way of being reformed. But yo, yo, that's deep, bro. What? What? It's always like that, bro. Once you start getting like some control and once you start to like, um, once you start to get people to gravitate your way and you start speaking out, that's when all the bullshit start coming your way. All the trouble. It all start to come your way, bruh. That's 100%. Like how he was just saying, they don't think about the 20 years where he didn't do anything. Where he was a good Samaritan. He ain't have nothing on his record. He was cool, calm, and collective. The moment he starts speaking out, he got legal problems. Shit is crazy, but that's how it is. Because you become a threat. That's how that shit is, bro. Pac already talking, bruh. And he was basically talking about the crowd control that he had, like the power that he had where the, where the crowd would do whatever he wanted because he was in that position of power. He was that um, effective. People loved him that much. And he said he was scared. That shit deep, bruh. But America was scared too. Yeah, Pac already in the bag. He dropping some gems. It's like I'm a criminal who has no way of being reformed. But all of these came one after the other. Do you understand? Right. It takes logic. Well, what about, I mean, some of, I mean, that's an, another interesting part of your past. Have you ever been incarcerated before? Have I ever been yeah. incarcerated? No, not for longer than a day. Long enough for somebody to take me. You know, the police can arrest anybody they want, put them in jail. But if you stay there, that, you know what I'm saying? I haven't, I haven't stayed anywhere. Mm -hmm. I've been arrested a lot, put in the cell, and they come and get me when I call my lawyer. You know what I'm saying? But I'm an innocent type of guy. Well, I wanted to bring up, I mean, obviously <laughs> tomorrow is a, is a big day. You're being yeah. sentenced tomorrow. Yeah. And, um, you know, we're sitting here in 24 hours. You'll know what, you know, what the situation's going to be. Are you thinking about the prospect of going to jail? Um, first, I was like, I'm not going to jail. I was like, if they try to come get me for something I didn't do, I'm going to open fire. You know what I'm saying? But I can't do that because it's not just me anymore. You know what I'm saying? That's what they expect. If I have to, if God sees it fit for me to spend time in a cell, if he wants my brain to be inside of a cage, if he's brought me so far from hell to put me here, and now he wants me to go to jail, I'll go. You know what I'm saying? If that's where I'm meant to be. But Damn. I don't think so. I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? I don't really believe in my heart that I belong in jail. I don't believe I did anything to warrant me going to jail. Okay. Um... What do you think, if you do go to jail, is to be expected because you are a known personality? I'm going to ask to be put in solitary confinement and I'm going to do push-ups and read books and come out weed-free, smoke-free, and with a degree or some shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I won't let it stop me, you know right. what I'm saying? But I'm not going to jail to just parlay. If I went to jail, best believe it's not like I'm going to have a problem in jail. I got love there, you know what I'm saying? I got love from, from thugs and the street dudes. And I can go to jail and probably organize a riot, you know what I'm saying? But that's not what I want to do. If I have to go to jail, I, I don't even want to be living. I want to just cease to exist for however long they have me there. And then when I come out, I'll be reborn, you know what I'm saying? I'll be taking less, less problems. And that my mind will be sharper and the venom will be more potent, you know what I'm saying? So they shouldn't send me there. They should really try to, uh, you know, it's like you don't throw more gasoline on the fire to put it out. Yo, this man is really, really speaking. 
He's speaking. Not only did he say they shouldn't even put him in jail because if he go in jail, first of all, he got control. He got so much love to the point where they ain't going to touch him. He said he would rather be in solitary confinement, you know, do push-ups and read books and come out a better man. And he said the venom would be more potent, meaning, meaning he'll be more dangerous. It, it, it takes a strong individual. It takes a, a person with a different type of mindset to even say that, to have that type of way of thinking. He know he shouldn't even go to jail. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's just a different type of caliber of a person. He, he didn't say so much shit. The man said, I will come out of jail reborn. Come on. What the fuck? Okay, I'll just let him keep going, bro. He really in a deep pocket. Dude really was different. You, you really was different. You really was, dog. You was different, bro. Keep talking. I'm here for this shit. I'm listening, Pac. Because I'm learning. As less problems and that my mind will be sharper and the venom will be more potent you know what i'm saying so they and he said his mind will be more sharper that's what i meant to say his mind will be more sharper and the venom will be more potent yo come on bruh didn't send me there they should really try to appeal you know it's like you don't throw more gasoline on the fire to put it out that's facts mm -hmm. what what about um I mean, this is one step, and there's some other, you know, cases that are going to be coming up. What has changed for you? And you mentioned the last two years is when all, everything started to happen, one after the other. What changed for you in these two years? How is your life now different than it was before? Like I said, you know, it was no spot for Tupac. It's not like there was somebody like me before. And I, and I moved into the spot so I can ask him how he did it. You know what I'm saying? There was no spot here. Nobody wanted to be, you know, the, the person that thugs and the street people could rally around. Nobody wanted to be that. So when I was that, I couldn't handle it. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't. I could handle it, but not. Y'all, I got to go back just a little bit. I'm sorry. I got to go back. Coming up, what has changed for you? And you mentioned the last two years is when all, everything started to happen one after the other. What changed for you in these two years how is your life now different than it was before like i said you know it was no spot for tupac it's not like there was somebody like me before and i and i moved into the spot so i can ask him how he did it you know what i'm saying mm. there was no spot here nobody wanted to be you know the, the person that thugs and the street people could rally around nobody wanted to be that so when I was that, I couldn't handle it. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't, I could handle it, but not right away. Of course, I had problems. I was making mistakes that anybody would make when you have 14,000 people ready to do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? When you have all over the country, people waiting to hear what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? This Thug Life Code, we have a code putting order to the violence on the streets. And when they all listening to you, I got people in the penitentiary you know what I'm saying? Big time OG criminals who are calling me, telling me they want me to lead their movement. I mean, I'm That's deep, bruh. You know how much power you got to have? It makes sense why he couldn't handle it. It made sense why he made so many mistakes. The man had a lot on his shoulders. He had a lot of people looking towards him. Damn, that's deep, dog. What? Nigga was like the king on the chessboard. The motherfucker was the general. He was the fucking general. He putting everybody in position. Pause if that's a pause, but he putting everybody in position. He making all the moves. That's a lot to deal with. What do you say, like 14,000? That's, come on, bro. We're willing to do whatever you tell him to do. Come on, bro. That, that's just a different type of power, different type of level. That comes with a lot of responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Big time OG criminals who are calling me, telling me they want me to lead their movement. I mean, I'm going to have a problem. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have a small identity crisis here. You know what I'm saying? Because, I've, like I said, I was a, from a single father. You know what I mean? A single mother with no father, no male figure. Now I got every man in America who wants to take an order from me. You know what I'm saying? Who wants to know what I want to do. Or, you know, what's my plan for young black males? I'm sorry, and I got to say this too. That's why having the father in your life is so essential. 
it's vital that you have a father in your life growing up. The man just said it himself, growing up in a household with just a single mother, not having that father figure to mold him and bring him up to show him the way. Now you got now he had people that was looking up to him to make the moves and make decisions as a man. That's tough to do when you ain't got that male figure in your life to show you the way. Come on, bro. That's dude. This just keep going, bro. You Bruh, dude. You know what I'm saying? Wants to know what I want to do. Or, you know, what's my plan for young black males? And that makes me scared. But that makes me want to rise to the occasion. You know what I'm saying? What makes me want to give my whole life to him. And I will give my whole life to, 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 to this plan that I have for thug life. Now, when you said a code, I don't know exactly what do you mean by a code. I organize the OGs in the East Coast and the West Coast and the penitentiaries um, to um, come up with a set of codes of ethics for, for criminals, you know? Like, um, we, we're going to get be against drive-bys, kidnappings, attacks on um, people that are not involved with the, with, with the street game, with the drug trade, or the illegal business at all. You know, all that kidnapping and shooting drive-bys out the car, we're against that. And people who perpetrate that, they have to deal with the consequences when they go to jail, because that's who's going to enforce this code and the thug life that's on the street. It's like we're cleaning up the dirt. Damn. I can't change what the dirt that's here, but I can put all this dirt in one corner. You know what I'm saying? Somehow I have some order here. And, and for that, they need to give me a little leg room. You know what I'm saying? Let me need, let me do what I want to do because nobody else is going to do it. Nobody else wants to do it. That's fair. I'm not scared to walk in the middle of Watts, Compton, Chicago, wherever. And, and sit down with whoever's the OG and say, this is what we need to do. That's 100% Pac. And that's so true. He literally could go anywhere. It may not have ended well. I, I don't know, but I'm just saying like he had the heart of a lion to go anywhere and talk to the biggest OG and come to an agreement and talk about the shit. Like he was in the streets. He was in the thug life, but he wanted more. You know what I'm saying? Like he graduated from that. Like he wanted more out of life. He wanted things to be better. He even said it about the, uh, the thug life code. Like people doing shit, getting out of line, drive-bys, killing kids, all of that. You will have to deal with that when you go to jail. Nobody really was doing that shit. That's facts, bruh. They should have gave him more credit. They should have gave him more room to work with, like he said. Because he was doing things in the community to make it better. Yo, Pop, bro, this is why. That's why they had to get rid of dude, because... He applied, like I said before, bro. He applied too much pressure. He was speaking out too much. They was afraid of this man. They really was. The young guy wasn't scared of shit. And I'm gonna just put it to you just like that. Pac wasn't afraid of nothing. And I'm gonna keep saying that, bro. The man is very inspirational, I'm telling you, man. He be dropping so many gems. Pac is giving out so much vital information and he knew so much back then that's applying to today's society. That's how you knew he was just ahead of his time. We got more interviews on the way from Pac and more of our people need to hear and listen to. He wasn't just a hothead. He was a hothead when he needed to be. When things popped off, that's the only reason why he went crazy. In retrospect, he was also a good person. I ain't got nothing else to say. I appreciate this interview. We got more on the way. Listen, if you haven't already, please go subscribe to my channel at Chess is Unlocked. Y'all already know the vibes. Go follow me on Instagram at Chess is Unlocked. And we up out of here. Peace, blessings, and love to all my gods and goddesses out there.